Shut up and sit down. What's up guys? Alright, today I'm going to do a little how-to on how to put this chain and sprockets on your DRZ. Um, this is an SM model, but the only thing that will be different if you have an S or an E model, I think, is the way that the rear axle mounts. But that shouldn't be too hard to figure out for you. So, alright, let's get into it. Okay, so the first step obviously is to get the bike up in the air. I'm just using a set of generic swing arm and front end stands here. And then we're going to start with the chain. So the first thing we're going to do is pull the chain guard off. Now my bike has an aftermarket chain guard on it. So these bolts might be an Allen head on yours. I'm not sure. Um, on mine it's a T30 Torx. We're going to go ahead and pull that off. You can obviously use just a regular Torx screwdriver or a ratchet and a Torx bit or whatever. I'm just using a drill and I'm going to be using an impact just for the sake of the video to make things go smoother. Alright, next step is going to be to find your master link. Just roll it around here. There it is. I'm going to stick it right on top there. I'm going to throw the bike in gear just so it doesn't roll on me. There we go. Alright, now what we can do normally people would just cut this chain off instead of fooling with the master link. But this chain is still in pretty decent shape. And I got a cheap chain to try out and see if it's any good when I replace it and do the new sprockets. So I'm gonna just pop this master link off and keep the chain intact. Now you can put your flathead screwdriver right here and just take a hammer or rubber mallet. You should be able to force it off. Just like that. There you go. All right, so what you want to do after you pull the clip off your master link is you're going to look for your chain breaker for like half an hour. And then you're not going to be able to find it. So you're going to run over to your buddy's house and grab your trusty Dremel tool that you let him borrow. And I really wanted to save this master link, but I can still keep the chain and just cut the master link off and get a new master link later after I find my chain breaker. So we're going to cut the master link off. Maybe. And pull the chain out. It's not in neutral though, so I can't do that. There we go. Alright. That part's done. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just loosen all of the bolts and nuts that hold the rear sprocket on. We're not gonna take them off yet, just loosen them up. Uh, these outsides are a six millimeter hex key or Allen or whatever you wanna call it. And then the nuts on the back should be 12 millimeter. Okay, we're just gonna do that for all six all the way around. The next step is going to be to remove the nut from the rear axle, pull the rear axle out, and slide the wheel off. 
on the SM, this nut's a 24 millimeter. Um, I'm not sure about the size on the S and the E model. Ooh, my battery's a little low there. All right. Just slide the axle out here. Our next step on the bike is to take this front cover off its front sprocket off. And this is just two 8mm bolts. Right now on these DRZs, the way they keep this sprocket nut from spinning, there's a washer under here with a tab bent up on it. I'm just going to use a flathead screwdriver and a rubber mallet and just bend this tab down flat. pull the sprocket nut off. This is a 30 millimeter. And then it should just slide right off. Yep, there we go. Okay, now while you have this cover off and you have this sprocket out is a very, very good time just go ahead and clean all this gunk out of here. I mean, your chain picks up road grime and stuff and just kicks it up in here. So now's a good time to clean that off. All right, since I'm here and before I work on the rear sprocket, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the front one back on. Now, this, is, this old sprocket here was a more expensive one. It's gonna have this nice rubber bushing around here that the chain's gonna ride on. If you get one of these cheaper sprockets, then most of the time they won't have little rubber bushing on them. So just make sure when you put the sprocket on that you have this lip going toward the bike. Because if you don't, then you're gonna throw this thing on here and it won't spin because it hits the chain guide. So always put the lip to the back. Throw our washer back on. And our nut. Now this nut also has a lip inside of it that goes toward the bike so that you don't bend these splines on the shaft. Now when we tighten this nut down, we're gonna to torque it down with a torque wrench. Now the old manuals used to say, I believe 79 and a half foot pounds but there was a problem with these nuts trying to back off a little bit. So Suzuki has since revised the torque spec to 101.5 foot-pounds of torque. And I've lost my socket, there it is. Make sure it's in gear for this. spinning on me. There we go. Now I should have really replaced this washer, but 
But to be honest, I just didn't think to order one, so I'm going to reuse this one. I'm going to bend it up in a different spot than it was originally, just in case it tries to break. That's the front sprocket done. All right, now we're gonna continue on the rear sprocket. Like I said before, these are a six millimeter Allen on the front side, or hex, whatever you wanna call it. And they're a 12 millimeter on the back. And that sprocket should just come right off. All right, now we just throw our new rear sprocket on, line it up, put all our nuts and bolts back on. Well, my camera died on me while I was putting the rear wheel back on. So I guess you don't get to see that, but it's just the reverse of taking it off and it's not hard to figure out. So. You shouldn't have much issue with that. All right, just gonna unpackage my new chain here. Do. I'm gonna run it. The guide. I'm just gonna drag it across the back sprocket here. Oh. Bring it up here. drop it once or twice. That's crucial to the installation. They won't work right if you don't drop them. Alright, slide this puppy up here. Oh, it helps if that's in neutral. <laughs> Roll it around the front sprocket. back. Oh. Okay, it's on there now. Now we're just going to bring it back through the chain guide. into place exactly where it's supposed to be Try to roll it around the back here real quick move some stuff out of my way all right you'll have these two links right next to each other Just, uh, open up your master link you can get it open with all the oil all over your hands okay now Take your master link, push it through from the back, put your plate on, and this little guy slides over the front, comes down, and then we're just going to squeeze it on there. There you go. Your chain is on. All right. Now all we got to do is we're going to throw this front cover back on. Make sure you've got your little spacers lined up here. 
You don't have to drop your bolts. That's not part of it. Okay, we'll slide that back in. There we go. Now you're just going to set your chain tension, and you're done. New chain and sprockets. All right, we'll see you next time.